Hello, I'm Kalila Ko, bringing you the news of Taos High School here in the TK1 studios in downtown Taos. We'll bring you the news every week until the end of the school year. If you have a hot news story, please text 575-425-0222, and we'll dispatch a team to cover your story. Our news broadcasts will be a combination of journalists in the field and produced segments. And first up, today is one of the biggest stories we've heard in weeks. Let me introduce Luna Bonnie. How are you, Luna? I'm doing well, thank you. As we've all heard by now, about two weeks ago, there was a classroom fight between three male students. The violence of this left many of us speechless. Students recorded the fight, which was then posted to X, formerly known as Twitter, where it's been viewed a staggering 4.9 million times. Yes, that's 4.9 million times. A few things still aren't clear to me about what happened during and after this altercation. Is this the reason why cell phones are now banned in class? I will continue to look into this issue, and next week we'll have a longer story about cell phones at Taos High. Next up, the Travel Club will be leaving for Japan on March 9th. They will be traveling to a variety of places, from Osaka to Tokyo, and many beautiful cities in between. Participants are excited and eager to depart for this once-in-a-lifetime experience. And next up is a story about the district's search for a new superintendent. We turn now to our intrepid reporter and president of the TK1 Youth Council, Carlos Miller. How are you today, Carlos? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Today I'd like to talk about the superintendent search for the Taos Municipal School District. Tonight on March 1st, between 5.30 and 6.30, they'll be holding a town hall discussing the different qualities and traits that a superintendent should have to lead this district successfully. I believe that a future superintendent should have strong communication skills, be accountable, and be transparent to all community members, to students and parents alike. There shouldn't be a search and constant chase for answers. There's a survey out now by JG Consulting, who is tasked with finding the future superintendent. You can take the survey by going to the QR code here on my face, or going to the link in the description. By taking the survey, you'll be helping the consulting group find the qualities, traits, and experience that a future superintendent should have and aid them in this search going forward. Remember, this will be somebody that influences students for years to come. So we should be wise in who we choose. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. And I'll be back next week to talk more about where we are on the superintendent search. And now for an update on sports, we turn to Lucy Schreiber. Thank you, Kalila. First up, boys basketball is headed to the district tournament championship game, beating longtime rival Espanol in a tiebreaker. They will now play Los Alamos for the district championship. Taos Wrestling participated in our state wrestling championship, and our own Jerome Martinez placed fifth. Taos Hockey recently beat the Albuquerque Bulldogs, and track and field, baseball, tennis, and softball are all beginning practices and preparing for their first competitions. Thank you, Lucy. And now we turn to a produced segment on the sustainable agriculture class here at Taos High. What is the most interesting thing about this class to you? It's so nice to be able to like get outside because yeah. I feel like in school a lot of the time you're just sitting at a desk all day, which is fine. Like that can be fun too, but like you never get to go outside and like yes. have hands-on experiences exactly. and learn. And that's why I like this class is you learn by experience, not just like, you know, reading or whatever. I like just learning new things about planting and like different plants and all that stuff and different species and how like different ones grow in different climates. The class is all about healing the soil that's the gist of it is healing the soil and in hopes of assisting in a mo more food sovereign community so I think this class really um, draws students youth people all of us that are just more interested in food sovereignty it's also the only outdoor ed class that we have at the district so you know even if maybe a student didn't know they were interested in agriculture they might just really love the outdoors and they said hey this is a really healing way to spend time in the classroom how do you think this class can positively impact students in the future. 
people now are like so disconnected from their food and how it's made and how it's processed and you know the actual people who are connected to it and I feel like this class is really helping people actually realize the process that goes into them being able to buy their food at the grocery store. And how do you think this class can positively impact kids our age for the future? Um, it makes people more aware like how to grow their food. I feel like it's such a great skill to have. Thank you for joining our first newscast, and we will be back with more news and exciting updates next week. I'm Khalila Ko with TK1 News.